Yeah. It was deeply fascinating. I mean, the way you read it together like that, and that is, oh my God! It was like mind opening, really. Absolutely. I loved it. Kirsten? I loved it too, but I didn't understand much of it. <laughs> <laughs> but the last part. Tell me, let me explain. When the last part, when you took the music and how you combined the music and the picture, that was understandable very yes. much. Because it was coming together then. It was coming all together. Yes. It was coming all together at this point. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's, not, a, it's not an easy process to follow because, uh, you know, there's a lot of numbers. And I, I mean... Yeah. You, you would think that energy has to be, you know, when you're expressing energy, it has to be like from a feeling level. But no, this is very scientific. It's like yes, this amount of time, this amount of time, that amount of time. But it's based on a very natural energetic uh, expression, which is the golden ratio yes. of portion. And that's where... Yeah, it's like corrupting the energy. That's where the energy can be, uh, the timing that people are understanding the flow of the movie or feeling the flow of the movie because the mm. movie is flowing along an organic time yeah. line mm. in that yeah term, that's it in that sense and what i've felt about it was how you can use a concept like this to go to like any kind of power place yes feel you can it the inner picture and then work your way to that and then that's what i meant i said before the movie i felt it had to do with uh, those places and learning to really see them in a grand scale what they are yeah. really doing how they are composed yes yeah. and if i had more time and i would go into all my other powerpoint presentations which describes the process that i personally had to go through when i was in bosnia and when <laughs> i was also not in bosnia to unravel the pictures, the crystal of time and the diamond mm -hmm. lens, because that's a whole other story. How did those mm -hmm. pictures, the, the best I could do today was to show you the, or, or to indicate the aspects, the, um, you know, I showed you here, the, the list, it was just a list of, uh, uh, the list yeah. of subjects included. I mean, yeah. I went very deep, I've been, I, I've been very deeply into these, uh, into the meaning of these subjects. And mm -hmm. they, did, they came about, very, again, very organically in my life at that time. And I understood they were part of the process of making the pictures. And also they were related to um, aspects, for, I could relate them back to aspects from Bosnia, you see. So also, you should have been to go back to Tepe and, I and the, yeah. oh my God, and made energy from that as a movie in this type. Uh, yes. Deshaffering the, the energy still and made it into issue. Wow, that would have really been mind blowing. Well, you know what I I have been mm. working on and I am working on and I'm going to start producing soon, and that is mm -hmm. a, a movie on the whole of the River Ganges. Yeah. <laughs> ah, wow. Yeah. I've I've taken visuals from source to uh, mouth now the whole of the river, I mean, not step by step, but more, all of the key places along the river. And now I'm looking for a shape to interpret into um, this, uh, this, this movie into. So yeah, mm. this is, and it can be, you're right, this, this kind of art can be related to any place on earth, actually, any, mm. any yeah. type, any type of, uh, um, of of place that has a i mean i i think i think we can say power places because in power places you find organic and natural rhythms occurring in power places and they can be transmitted through very precise timing mm. and through shape and things like that yeah but ultimate so, ultimately so you could do it anywhere you know? So to say what you are measuring and, and putting into your film is the harmonic and the, uh, what is the next? I come back. 
what I feel is that you're unlocking with this system, you can unlock every place's capacity and bridge the energy from the highest yeah. feeling and sensitivity yeah. of the energy and right down earthly concrete. You, you, it's bridging. Yeah. And I also feel that now I've got to the point that I've made the first half of this movie, which you will, it, it's easy now because I've got a way out and it just needs to be tied a little bit here and there. But now mm. what I've actually done is in my own process, I've also scratched the surface of the meaning of the place and scratched the surface so hard that I've I'm scratching through to the next layer. <laughs> yeah. <And> so, <laughs> the second movie that I talked about, the um, the one that will make up the 108 minutes, mm. will probably be that second layer because I've already mm -hmm. got uh, things in my mind which are, I know what I need to focus on next in order to 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 find the next shape to transmit the next aspect if you sort of mean mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. one thing leads to another one thing leads to another and i think that's the process process that's going to happen now in bosnia uh i feel mm -hmm. very close to pitching this movie now just tidy it up and uh, present it in more again like i said to the um technicalities of it are easy to resolve for any professional you know in, in a good studio you know the sound balance and the visual balance and all of this mm. can be done can be done by professionals in the studio that's not my job i mean it is my job to take visuals but it's not you know my job is to transmit the energy from the place into the movie through this process and um, mm -hmm. you know I, I wonder in the future if it will um, if, if it means that I need to do the filming myself or if I can actually instruct somebody else to do the filming who is you know properly trained in technicalities and stuff and you know I have a team of people who are uh, who are doing the technicalities and then I can focus on the you know, um, on the meaning more, or whether I actually have to be behind the behind the camera, because perhaps that's part of it. You know, perhaps uh, um, some of those visuals, you know, when I you remembering that when I got inside the circle, you guys are chanting on the love pyramid, and I'm inside the circle, and I'm on my on my back, and I'm I'm, I'm you know filming you guys from underneath and upside down and this and that. You know, I, I, I didn't know I was going to do that when we started out. I started out on the tripod and then I just spontaneously moved there as you guys were in the energy and I got into your energy and I went in there and I filmed you and I... So, maybe I have to do the film. Maybe I have to do the film. Maybe I have to do it yourself. <laughs> yeah, in order to really bring in the right level of consciousness in the movie, it feels like it has to be transmitted through you into the yeah. pitch in everything it's yeah, like yeah. A, a to z huh? it's like a you do the flow yeah and also you know I, I i don't it's not a contrived process i don't go out saying today i'm going to film this or i'm focusing on that i go and what happens happens and i film that yeah. <clears throat> and I, it doesn't matter what it is i just kind of and some parts but i say now nah, this is not for me i'm going to turn my camera off now and then what, yeah. puzzles, you know, what energy... puzzles me what puzzles me is that you go on and take your pictures and your uh, your experiences in such a flowing way and then you come back and then you put it all into mathematics and uh, energy and so on on all levels yes it's That's amazing the... It's the union, actually, of complete openness and precision. I think, yeah. because those two, those two aspects, you need to be united. You can't just have openness. You no. need within. You need the skillful means within that that uh, divides up that openness, or uh, and, and gives it uh, gives it form. That's the union of male and female. Yeah, mm -hmm. you need 
to yeah. give form to the to the space yeah otherwise there's yeah. just space there's nothing else but space that's why we have mm. all these uh, you know this form in this universe so yeah that yeah. defines that defines the space the form defines mm. the space so we need that mathematical precision to define the space mm. but only once you found the cor correct proportion of it can it be infused into that space otherwise it's just random and <clears throat> random <laughs> is that's, that's also the reason that you get such a harmonic showing up <laughs> throughout the whole picture because you take the the male and the female side of things and bring it into the movie yes but that's uh, you know that's infused in our essence is the the male and female aspects the whole yeah. is the is the union of of, of those two aspects so this is uh, very important to find that balance otherwise it's going to be too one-sided and then it'll be if it were all space and openness then it would kind of we'd get lost in it we'd get confused be like oh where's this heading yeah. you know we need to be bring the meaning into pin it down yeah <laughs> pin down and that's meaning. what i experience susan when i look at the you know the crystal of time the big picture when you feed yourself into the center, you have it all. You have one yeah. on, on the right side mm -hmm. and one on the left side. That when you align yourself in the center, everything, mm -hmm. all the abilities are like there, mirrored back to you because you stand there. I'm just remembering, Inga, you weren't in Bosnia last year and you didn't uh, attend my uh, talk on the Crystal of Time in Bosnia last year. No, I, I wasn't because I was yeah. at the hospital. That's right, you were at the hospital. <laughs> I know. Yeah. yeah. And um, so a lot of those meanings, although, to be honest, I've now understood those meanings much deeper than I did even a year ago. I had mm. explained in the, um, in the, at the conference time, at the conference time last year. But mm. uh, this uh, process of making the movie to fruition has uh, made me go deeper into all those meanings and to understand them more clearly. So, yeah, like I said, I feel like I've scratched through the surface and the next layer is peeking through and I'm actually mm. ready to go on the second movie for Bosnia, to be honest. Wow. I, I know where I have to focus now and I know what I need to do. And I know I need to start. And that's all you, all you need to know is where to start because the path, you know, the path will lead you from there, yeah? You know something, Susan? When I sit and I look at this crystal of time, what I suddenly, I got this experience, you know, the circle in the middle with the yellow in, right? It suddenly became the stargate from Bosnia that was closed yeah. and yeah, yeah, became yeah, yeah, yeah. open. That's what suddenly I found myself this is through. This doorway. This diamond lens, yeah, the doorway to infinity. Yeah, this, absolutely. This is the cosmic gate. Yeah, mm. it is. Sure is. Hello. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. I was just going through it, and then oh, I'm back. No, I'm through it. No, on the other side. No, I'm here. Uh, that was yeah. Oh my God, what a cutie! <laughs> oh. This is P Pikachu, and she's got two very gorgeous small kittens just sitting in a box opposite me. Oh, so she's come. She's come to say hello. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. I'm all yours. <laughs> <laughs> wondering why I'm sitting talking to the computer. <laughs> she's like, you, you, you humans are really something else. You humans are really crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, you're right, Inga. And I believe, um, if, let, let's get a, a bigger picture of the, uh, of, of the diamond lens. Um, do I, did I do a whole picture? I, do. Oh, I can do it myself on the, uh, on the screen, but... You know what I can do is I can actually add one here. Let me do that now. Uh, mm -hmm. 
I, yeah, what I can do is I can take this, I can copy it, and I can paste here. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to paste it here. And then, No, it's not allowing me to do it while I'm in. While I'm on Zoom, I can't do it. No, no. I can uh, do it on iPad because I can. Oh, just... actually, what we can do is I can just cover. I can, I can just. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I can, what I can do is I can. This is. Mm. There's not much on this page, and we can just cover it. Look. Mm. Okay, now I can drag it out. Make it bigger. Yeah, that's great yeah mm. so these nine like i said they're nine vibrations but there are actually 13 when you count the photographs and all of these pictures are in golden ratio proportion from the smallest circle which is on there are 12 tiny photos on this tiny uh yellow circle so the smallest is that and the largest is the whole the whole thing mm the whole thing. So that to that is a golden ratio harmonic of 13 levels. Yeah? Yeah. Now, yeah. it actually, that the reason why I made this picture, this uh, here, the vibration, is to show you how simple it is. There are 12 of these in the positions of the clock happening. Mm. Because they all cross each other, uh, it looks complicated, but it's not at all complicated. It's just that vibration emanating out to a full circle each mm. time. Here, 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 mm. here, like this, 12 times. And mm. once you follow that pattern, it's actually very, it's very simple to make. I mean, simple to make. It's not simple to make. You've got to add and got to make all these. I mean, each of these are small circle made of cut, cut of, out of cardboard with mm. cloth covering it. So it's a very fiddly job. It took me seven months to make this picture. For you, I mean, every day I was working on it. Every mm, day. Can, yeah. And the sticking of the photos to cut all these tiny circles. There are almost 7,000 circles in this picture. Can we imagine? Oh. So there are, or there, there, there are tens of thousands of, of, of circles in this, uh, in this picture. Mm. And each one is a doorway, you know? Yeah. Each one is a doorway. To another no, dimension but mm. as you said Inga the principal gate of course is here in the center now yeah, you see yeah, the, yeah. the name the diamond lens you'll see that this is like a shutter in a, in a camera yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. you know when a shutter's opening in the camera yeah, yeah. so th these lines are very important you see how they flow Look, I'm going to do mm. it with my as best I can with my hand. They flow in fifths, harmonic fifths, around yeah. and around and yeah. around and around and around. So it's like a continuous. So it never ends. It comes back to the beginning yeah. and starts again. Yeah. yeah. And this is the uh, the diamond lens. Diamond meaning vajra, indestructible. Lens meaning awareness. So our mm -hmm. indestructible awareness and the doorway to infinity refers to every possible kind of manifestation that we could experience or imagine in existence. So we've got yeah. this union of an absolute and a relative here. Yeah. So this this pro the process of this very sharp awareness this very sharp uh perception uh the perceiving of a reality the very sharp awareness and perceiving of a reality can perceive everything yeah and mm. nothing and, and and it's nothingness yeah mm. so then the balance of all and none which is the meaning of the golden uh color underneath the all the five colors it's just that the whole board is covered in a golden mm. uh, cloth yeah and then the circles are all stuck on top uh, building up layers by layer yeah yes but yeah. the golden you see the golden layer is the absolute state of yeah. being 
the light, the pure light, and then everything else on top of it is all the relative uh, aspect that uh, is appearing. Mm. Yeah. But there are countless doorways here to count to, to countless universes in that sense. So yes, I, I also, Inga, I, I, I follow you what you're saying. I've also been wondering mm -hmm. if this is connected with the cosmic gate in the I think it um, is in the spoken of in the uh, runic and the runic uh, yeah so uh, let's I see the take, take it to <laughs> yeah. yeah maybe we don't need to be in bosnia to do this job we need is the gate right i can't understand what you're saying i can't hear it <laughs> Um, what I'm saying is, I don't think we actually need to take this picture to Bosnia itself to be able to mm. go through the cosmic gate. Okay. The thing is, with the energies that are going on now, th what I have, have experienced is that the energy from the physical images are being withdrawn and replaced with new ones that are emanating inside out and within these layers of consciousness you don't need to really go anywhere if you manage to hold the vibration and attune yourself inside then you actually can be there and it will be as even physical real as if you went by plane so there is something that are starting to become visible for us or possible for us yes. yes i think so it's uh yeah. um i totally agree <laughs> <laughs>